Inoue's left body hook. Oh, I just saw him for the first time, first time watching him fight live over the weekend. He was just demolishing his opponent with that shot. You guys know it's my favorite shot. So today we're going to look at three things that make Inoue's left body hook so good. All right, guys, Saturday night was filled with boxing for me. I watched the Charlo fight, then went to the Inoue fight. Both fantastic performances, just great boxing fights. But the punch that really stood out to me was that left body hook of Inoue. And right away when I started looking at it after the fact, the day after watching some slow motion replays, I went, ooh, he does a few things that are exceptional, a little different, which really, really are important if you want to throw this punch like him. Now, I know. Many people have asked me to do what makes Inoue so good, that big series that I'm doing where I look at five different things. I will get to that. We'll make sure we bring him into that series. But for today, it's just focusing on the left body hook just because it's so important to touch base on this. And the first thing that I want to talk about, the first point that I'm going to bring up today is what his left hand does before he throws it. Now, a lot of times if I was going to throw a body hook, I'd go something like one, two, right from here, I would fire my arm out and try to minimize the time that this hand leaves my head. But when you see Inoue throw it, he comes a lot of times off the right uppercut, one, and then his arm drops back, he gets it to hip level right away, and then he can whip it in from super far back. Now, yes, technically, that is a little bit of an imperfect punch in the sense it leaves you exposed for longer than it should, but he doesn't come out and do that right away. It's not like his first punch is like, out here, okay, and boom. No, he sets it up, he takes his time, he feels it out, and then when he starts to get a sense of his opponent and the fact that he can land it, then he'll throw that big wide shot and because he starts it from way back here he's able to get a lot of power an extra torque number one because he's whipping it through you just have more momentum build up but number two he's not bringing it from the cheek and having to go down and in he drops it right down to hip level and then can come directly in at the exact angle he wants coming right from here to here and straight through. It's beautiful. It's kind of like what Canelo does when Canelo throws. He doesn't really keep everything super technical right from there. It's not super tight. He gets pretty wide when he throws. So just keeping in mind that wide is going to create more power and that's fine as long as you're able to deal with possible counter shots and you know they're a possibility. The second thing I want to focus on is the follow through that he gets on his punch. I talk about this all the time. What is power? Power is speed and the ability, if this is the target, not to hit the target and go a little through, it's the ability to follow through. Follow through is going to equal just ferocious power if you combine it with the speed. And when we see him through one of his punches, it's here, he clips the front of the stomach, it slides through and he just keeps going and going and going. Now, obviously if you're catching maybe back in the floating rib area and you hit, you can't go through. But if you're coming to the front of the stomach, the front of the stomach is an awful spot to get punched, by the way. So if you're ever trying to really hurt somebody, you don't always need to aim way back here. You can come right up to the front and sort of slide the hand across. This one's hurt so bad, it's like that. It's like a little ricochet. They're just so unpleasant. My brother throws them like that, and when I get hit, I go, how does that hurt more than back here? But for Inoue, and what we're talking about today, it's just not hitting here and stopping. We're not just going pop and pulling back. It's letting the arm sail through. And guys, before we get to point number three, if you're enjoying the video, please give it a like. Of course, get subscribed, build the channel up, and let's move on to our final point. And this is the really important one. Something that's very different than a lot of other people. When he finishes his body hook, his hip and his lead shoulder have lined up with the back hip and shoulder. So he comes not just to here, where he's sort of on 45 with the shoulders, he gets full torque. The hips, the shoulders have lined up. This allows him, instead of hitting and needing to stop, because if I keep my hips square, I can only go to about here comfortably. But when I twist, I can come fully through. So if you're on the bag and you're hitting, it's not here. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this body hook, but he comes not to this point, he comes right through like this. He twists the body so far and it's all the hip torque and the shoulder torque and then the arm following at the last second, which is gonna maximize that power. It's shoulders, well, it's from the feet first 
and then the hips, and then the shoulders, and then the arm can come through at the last second to maximize the power, smash that body. That body hook of his is so impressive, and I just, I love it, I, that's all I can say. If you guys are trying to get your body punches on point, take these three tips, really utilize them, try to make your punch a little more like in a ways left body hook, and I think you'll find you'll have a lot of success. Remember to keep the right hand tight to the head, he's very good at that, because the left hand is away from his head so long, he keeps this one ultra tight. If a straight punch comes, he can ride that arm across very quickly. We definitely don't wanna be down here with two hands, too low. Anyway guys, I will be sure to make a haul what makes Inoue so good in the future. But for today, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. If you have not already guys, join the channel, get subscribed, train hard guys, and I'll see you back here soon for another video.